Hey everyone, today's video is an investigation into what kind of classroom or education style works best for which personality type. So I want to really get down and dirty into every cognitive function, into every personality type and really think, okay, what kind of a teacher, what kind of a classroom, what kind of an education style would really work best for this personality type? Now, I want you to think with me here, what kind of a school would you like and how would you feel in these classrooms? Which of these eight classrooms would you fit the best in? Let me know in the comments down below and I hope you really enjoy what's coming next. Okay, children, today we are going to discuss the moon landing. What I want us to do today is to have a discussion together about our feelings about the moon landing. Do you believe that the moon landing happened? And if it happened, how did it happen? How did the astronauts manage to land on the moon? What do you think? Let's look at some of the arguments, pro and con, and let's, after this class, reach a consensus once and for all. Okay, before we get started on today's lecture, I want to establish some ground rules for how we are going to work together. I will see no hand rising in this classroom. Nobody raise your hand. If I see a hand raised, I'm giving you a minus one point. Instead, what I want you all to do, and I expect all of you to do this at least once, is write down a question. All of you need to write down at least one question per lecture. And then at the end of the day, we'll go over these questions. So I expect all of you to have a question. If I point at you, Charlie, I need a question. If I point at you, Yanni, question. And you need to have a good one. I will also score you based on how good your questions are. So think that in mind. If you give me a stupid question, that's minus one point. Okay, kids, instead of learning astrophysics, today's class is cancelled. Instead, what we will do is we are going to learn how to pay taxes. Yes, that's right. We are going to learn something actually useful. So what I want you to do today is I prepared for you all a budget and a bank account. And we're going to walk over in the first class. We're going to start up our own bank account and we're going to learn how to do that. And then after that, I'm going to to learn and to teach you all to set your own budget. So I need you all to uh, see after you created your bank account, how much can you save every month and what do you want to spend your money on? Then in class three, we're going to present you all with taxes and you're going to have to learn to see how do I balance taxes against my budget? How do I make sure that I have a steady economy? How do I avoid ending up with loans? and with bad credit card scores? How do I make sure to avoid uh, all the fallacies that you can have and all the struggles you can have when it comes to personal finance? Okay, kids, today I brought the magazine with me. And what I want this all to do is I want us to go over these magazines and these articles, and I want us to find factually incorrect information. So I want you to look over and see and mark statements that you think could be false or misleading. So if you see something here that's ambiguous or if you see something here that's unclear or that needs to be defined better or something that's misleading, I want you to signal it. And what I, the goal of this is to really teach you to think critically. We cannot trust the news. We cannot trust the information that's presented to us. So we need to work to think critically. How do things really work? What is really right and what is really wrong? Okay, kids, since I know you don't actually listen to anything I say and because I know you'll forget what I just said in five minutes, I want you to instead think for yourself, what do you think happened during the Viking Age? And what do you think will happen in the future? Can you write about the year 2050? Can you describe what elements or things that could go down and what do you think will happen 50 years from now? That's my experiment for today. The world in 2050. Go. Okay, kids, today we're going to play a game and I call this game the person who screams the loudest wins. So I'm going to go over some questions and the person who can answer the loudest, scream out the right answer, will get one point. Okay, kids, for today's class, instead of sitting in the classroom, we are going to South Africa. 
to study the culture, to live the culture, to live and breathe and to experience things the way people do in South Africa. So I want you all to go there. I will get sure that everyone gets tickets, that everything is arranged. And I want you to go into this culture and to analyze and understand and reflect on everything that's happening and going on in this part of the world. Okay, kids, it's time for a YouTube commercial. Okay, kids, for today's lesson, I want you all to group up two and two. And then I want you to take turns asking each other about your feelings and your values. And I want the other person to listen really attentively. What is this person saying? What does this person mean? What does this person want? Okay, kids, today's class is in argumentation. I want you to form pro and con groups and your group has to argue for a statement and your group has to argue against it and then i'm gonna invite you all up in class one against one and you're gonna have to argue against each other's for or against what is true and false okay kids i decided that you don't really need a teacher you need books so I've provided books and tests for you and what I want you to do is to read through these books and then take the tests and then grade yourself. So just make the best out of it, be independent, be critical and work hard. It's really important for me that all of you pass this class. So I think we should really help each other and work in groups to make sure that everyone will get 100% on this test. Remember, if anyone fails this class, I'm going to fail all of us. So we know that we all have to pass and we all have to do our best and we all have to work together. Okay, kids, I have some good news today. You can shut down the books. You don't have to read anything today. Today we are going to have a party. And we are going to go to this party dressed up as our favorite historical character. Now, you can't tell other people who you are, other people have to guess. And at the end of the party, uh, the winner who is able to guess accurately who is who is going to win a special prize. Okay, students, for today's class, I want us to look at the popular philosophical theory. According to some people, the world is simply a projection. That means reality doesn't exist and this is all a simulation. I want you to write a paper on your own where you analyze and reflect on whether reality is a projection or not. And if so, how can we prove it? How can we know for sure if anything that is happening here is real? Okay kids, today we are going to do something different. I want you all to brainstorm new flavors of ice cream. And I want you all to think what is the tastiest possible ice cream a person could ever create. I will score you all not on what is best but what answer is the most original. So I really want you to think outside of the box for this one. Okay everyone, for today's class I think we should talk about a heavy topic. I think we should talk about Adolf Hitler. What I want you to do is, I want you to watch this video about Adolf Hitler and his upbringing. And after having looked at it, I want you to reflect on the person that became Adolf Hitler and what made him into the person he was. What things could have made him a different person? What could have made it so that he wouldn't have become the, the person he was? What could we do to prevent future Adolf Hitlers from emerging in our society? Okay, all you INFPs out there in the corner, turn your attention to me. Stop daydreaming for one second in your life. Pay attention in class. Okay, kids, today we're going to do something new. We are going to have a trivia game where you have to guess the right answer faster than anyone else in the room. So to win this challenge, you have to get more answers correct than any other person in this classroom. What you can do is we're going to talk about all different topics from society to mathematics to science and the person who knows the most about the most different amount of subjects is going to win. Now beyond that, to make this a little bit more interesting, whenever a person gets an answer wrong, they are going to be punched in the face. Yes, we are going to punch you in the face if you get something wrong. Okay kids, today we are going to look at Donald Trump's wall across the Mexican border. 
Today we're going to look at all the issues with this problem. I want you to think of all the potential problems and issues building a wall between Mexico and the United States could bring. Anything you could see that could cause an issue, find it. And the person who can think of the most problems and the most issues and the most things wrong about this is going to win a special. Oh yeah, another bonus question. Which class would you hate the most? Okay, that was my video on the best classroom for every cognitive function. And now I have a bonus question for all of you. Which personality type do you think makes the best teacher? Feel free to answer the poll in the comments down below.